Hey everyone, Coach Darnell here. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy. Today, I'm gonna to show you the roundhouse kick that you can do at home. So let's get started. Okay, everyone. So as I said before, we're gonna do the roundhouse kick. As you can see, I don't have that much space, so we can do this in the house. Now, we're gonna get into our stance. The first part of the roundhouse kick that we're gonna work on is being able to control your hips. So when I throw my rear kick, I'm not gonna bend or turn or anything like that. So I'm still gonna take that step, 45, and then when I bring my kick around, I'm gonna stop on the center and then pull it back, okay? So again, I take that step out, 45 degrees, and then I'm gonna bring my leg around, catch it, and then pull it back, all right? So now this will come in handy if you were to miss your opponent, they're moving away from you, and you don't wanna end up in a bad spot. So the same thing we did with the rear side, we can also do with the lead. So I'm just gonna take a step with my right leg, going out 45, and then I bring my lead leg around, stop it, and I drop it down in front. Now, with your lead leg, the difference is most likely, this is your blocking leg. So when I take this step out, I bring my leg around, I can come back and shield from your opponent throwing the roundhouse kick. So we'll do one each on each side, and then I'll turn sideways so you can see from that angle. So again, I take my step, 45, one to the outside, rear kick is coming around, I catch it, and then I pull it back. Lead leg, I step out with my rear side leg, pull it around, stop it, check, or put it down. All right? Now, same thing from the side angle. All right, everyone. So this time, we're going to go for the full 360. Okay, full 360. Now, as I said before, if you don't have that much space to do the full 360, then you stick with the 180. But here we go. So now I'm gonna take that same step, open up the hips. And now the goal here is to spin with enough momentum that I can get back to this point. So I come through, up and around, and I come back down. All right, again, I step out, pick it up, come all the way back through. All right, and as you can see, it makes it a little easier to spin around when you got your socks on. But here we go. So now the next one, I'm gonna take a step out with the lead leg. Now this one's gonna be a little tougher just to throw it out there. What I wanna do is come around and then spin your foot a little bit more. It's gonna help you get all the way back around. All right, so now the thing that will help you is to really make sure you come up and down at the end and bring that back around the front. So you need that rear foot to be up on the ball of your foot, up on your toes, I should say. And then once you come around, that's going to help you get that last spin to get you back to point A. So again, I step, I ball with foot, come all the way back around, spin, I put it back down. Now, let's just say you end up in a bad spot. So you can take two steps. So I take this one step out, come up and around, come here, and I walk back. Okay? So again, with that one, if you find yourself in a bad spot, I take this step out, come up and around, one, two, that help you reset, all right? But if you can spin all the way around, definitely spin all the way around. So, so this one side. Back to the rear side. So now, rear side, take the step out, open up the hips, come up and around, back to point A, okay? One more time and up. Up and around, back down. Now, your lead side. Take a step out with your right, or your left, if you saw the ball, and come up, Two steps. Two steps. Okay, everyone. So, first part of this, we did stationary, catch a kick in the air, pull it back. Second part of this is the spinning. Okay, you got the 180 and you have the 360. Now we're gonna focus on uh, a partner. Okay, now, of course, some of us don't have partners, so we're gonna make one. Uh, if you have a heavy bag or a bag that you can kick, then you can totally use that. But this one's gonna help you on your rotation and your flexibility. Also depends on the type of partner you have. What I mean by partner, good old chair. So I'm just gonna set this chair right here. Now you want the seated part to be in the front and the back of the chair facing you. So now, the uh, spin that we worked on earlier, that's what we're gonna use for this. Now you can also pull, it's up to you how you wanna use it. I'll demonstrate both, how about that? So, 
First one, I'm gonna go with the roundhouse kick and pull it. So I'm gonna bring my leg around to the front, catch it over the chair and pull it back. Okay, so that's your stopping point, the chair. So again, I take that step, rotate over, pull it back, come back to my stance. Lead leg, same thing. Now, I would say it's a little easier to do a switch kick on this one because if I take a step here, I'm gonna be like way over the chair. So that's gonna be tough to do. So I'll switch. So now I have to move out as far, throw my kick, pull it back, put it down in front. Okay, so again, I switch over the top, pull it down. All right, now the rotation. Now, of course, really depends on how much space you have. So just while I'm kicking the wall, I'm gonna turn the chair and put it over here. All right, so now I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna rotate all the way through. So I'm gonna throw my rear kick. I'm gonna kick past it, come all the way back around. Again, pass, all the way back around. Then the lead side, again, like I said, uh, I'm gonna go with the switch on this one. So, I switch, kick all the way through, come back. Switch, kick, all the way through. All right, one more time on each, rear side, kick, come back, and then lead side, switch, Kick, come back. Okay, everyone, so that completes today's techniques. I hope you all enjoyed it. But if you would like more information or you need a little more help, please feel free to contact me at darnell at betaacademy.com. That's my email. And you can also find me on Facebook, Darnell Andrews. All right, take care.